So hello and welcome to this video on the Moffin's Eve modular Cricket. Another weird little module. Let's check out what's to come before we get into it. Cricket is a four channel weird bleep percussion generator. It's four square wave oscillators, simple digital alias glitchy weird but stable square wave oscillators. Each channel has a bang input which is a simple gate input to be on and off with a short trigger we trigger a little blip, a little percussive sound, with a complete offset voltage this is held open and with anything in between we've got varying gate lengths, various lengths of open or closed percussion or bass notes, whatever you want them to be. We have a cricket input, which is a Vactral based pitch control for all four channels, an output, a bang input for a channel, and that's about it. Now, there's plenty of different patches and ways to exploit this and get a little weird and funky, but I've got to read what the website states for cricket, because the mind of Moffin's Eve is an interesting one. With short triggers, the cricket makes little clicks that are reminiscent of a darker clav or clave. As you lengthen the pulse width, the sound begins to resemble a heart rate monitor or the sound you hear out of your microwave when that dank bean burrito just finished radiating. So with that dank bean burrito in mind, let's dive in. So here's a little glitchy pattern out of Cricut. I'm using GMO as a demented bass kick drum kind of thing. And the muskrat is a noise snare, if you will, through some kind of feedbacking short delay and spring reverb. Before we modulate Cricket, let's bring that weird muskrat snare in and some GMO bass. And I like to call these Moffin beats. This is what I like to think Ross listens to when he's going to bed on a night. Let's get some in-time sample and hold into Cricket. Certainly more high-pitched than Crickety. So there's a steady clock but with varying random pulse width with a random cycle length or gate length of the clock. Exact same signal into the cricket in. It's only a kick drum shot of being an EDM banger. I'm sure you'll agree. So as you can hear, here, cricket can be a really brutal distortion. This is a square wave into a filter, into cricket, to the bang input, so it's audio rate triggering cricket. And I kind of cancel out the sequence and we'll just listen to it as this kind of weird distorting filter. So here's the square wave near enough straight through. And I'll just move that pitch control on cricket. Weird resonant filter thing. Now if I drop the low pass filter that my square wave goes into before it hits cricket, you can see on screen there that's font. Turn that up, the resonance. See this envelope going into font. Because obviously those peaks in that waveform are changing with the filtering and the resonance moving around kind of really tripping out cricket. Pitch sequence back to my oscillator. And it's brutal. Drop the oscillator down an octave. And 
By triggering all four channels of cricket at the same time, we can get cowbell-like tones. Now I've softened that down here in a low pass gate, so I'll open up the low pass gate. Of course, these four out of tune square waves are gonna get much brighter, much more dissonant, plenty of alias top end as well. So this is straight out of cricket. And let's just kind of tune in some weird dissonant cowbell-like thing. Plenty of classic electronic cowbells were ring mod or XOR logic modulated square waves all out of tune with each other. That might be cowbell-like. Let's turn the low pass gate down and strike that as well. And although that's definitely not like a classic 808 cowbell, you can hear that those tones are in there if you want to spend the time fine tuning your own electronic cowbell sounds. Here we have four random gates with random pulse widths into the four channels of cricket. So you can hear some notes have been held up on longs. Let's add an LFO into the cricket input to modulate all of these channels. And take that up to audio rate modulation. Mad audio rate cricket sounds. So here's a pretty full on patch where cricket just provides four glitchy, crickety chirps into a dirty, mangled, kind of circuit bent delay line. Here it is with any of the backing beat. These are streams of 16th note random gates, one into each of Cricket's channels. You can see they're tuned up from fully up in pitch, kind of medium high, medium low and low in pitch by those knob positions. Here it is without the effect. Cricket's way louder than you'd have it in the mix and it's really jumping out. But of course it's the demo of Cricket, not my nasty beat patching skills. So I wanted to make sure it was loud and clear. So here's sequencing cricket like a standard oscillator. My gate pattern is into the bang. And let's add a volt per octave pitch sequence. It's of course not a standard oscillator. And that Vactral based pitch control, the cricket input, is definitely not going to track anything like a volt per octave. Let's add a short trigger to one of the other channels just to get a little pulsing percussive feel through this. So it's certainly not volt per octave, but weird sequenced. You could of course use an analog sequencer and really carefully fine tune these pitch movements if you wish. But just think of it as a demented group of crickets. It's more fun that way. So with an offset voltage into every input, here's a four voice chord. Let me mute out the drums and the bass line. This is going into a high feedback delay and some feedback around a spring reverb as well. The output also goes into a low pass gate before hitting those effects. Let me turn up the level of that low pass gate. So use of cricket you maybe thought wasn't there or maybe something you weren't thinking of. Four voice chord, straight out of cricket, offset voltages into all four bang inputs, manually tuned. Static chord generator. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. Cheers for checking out this video on the cricket. Check out other Moffins Eve modular videos linked in the description. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.